In this experiment, I'm going to try to show the amount of oxygen that there is in air. So if you look at the equipment, what we've got is um, a tube here which contains copper. Um, and hopefully you can see the, the orangey colour of that copper. And we've got a gas syringe here where there is 100 centimetres cubed of air. That gas syringe is connected through the tube to another gas syringe which is currently reading zero. Now what will happen is if I push the plunger on this syringe, assuming that there's no leaks anywhere in the system, the other gas syringe um, will move out as the air moves across the copper. And then we should have 100 centimetres cubed of air over here. Um, that's assuming that there are no leaks in that system. And again, if I push the air through here, that air will move through and into this syringe and we'll find that the air comes through and then we should have 100 centimetres cubed of air over here, out there. So no air is lost um, as we go through. Now, if I heat up the copper, Tube, so I'm going to get that really good and hot. And once that's been heated up, and so the copper is, is, is as hot as the Bunsen burner can get it, what I'll then do is start pushing the air across that copper. Now as the air goes through, what will happen is the oxygen in the air will react with the copper and it will make copper oxide. Copper oxide has a black colour, so you can see that the copper in the tube where I've been heating it has gone black. from the, the normal orange colour of copper. And so what that will do is it will remove the oxygen from the air. Producing copper oxide until eventually all of the oxygen has been removed. And at that point, no matter how many times I pass the air over the copper, the volume of air in the gas syringes won't change. So eventually after I've been heating it to and fro for um, a number of times, we'll end up with um, 79 centimetres cubed of air left in that gas syringe. So we started with 100 centimetres cubed of air, we end with 79 centimetres cubed of air, which means that we've removed 21 centimetres cubed and that is all going to be oxygen. So um, therefore, 21 centimetres cubed out of 100 or 21% of the air will be oxygen.